All right, we're getting new details about Jared Loeffner, the gunman behind the shooting rampage that killed, uh, nearly killed anyway, the former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords. Now, documents compiled during this investigation were released, including police interviews with Loeffner's parents. Craig Smith reports from Tucson. Jared Loeffner's father, Randy, told sheriff's detectives he was so worried about his son, he would disable Loeffner's car every night. Loeffner's mother, Amy, told detectives he had been acting oddly for about a year. She said... Sometimes he would look like he was having a conversation with someone right there. Loeffner's odd behavior led Pima Community College to kick him out. He could not come back without a mental health evaluation. His father says that never happened, that Jared Loeffner just would not talk to him. A detective asked, has Jared ever been diagnosed with a mental illness? No. Never gone to a doctor? No. Even in print, you can hear what seems like a touch of despair when the older Loeffner tells the detective, lost, lost, and just didn't want to communicate with me no more. Loeffner's father took away a shotgun after the PCC expulsion, but did not know about the handgun used in the mass shooting. The day of the shooting, Randy Loeffner was suspicious about a backpack Jared had. When he demanded to see it, Jared Loeffner ran away. The next time they saw him, six people were dead and he was under arrest. That was Craig Smith reporting in response to those documents. Gifford says they show that Loeffner should never have had access to a gun. She used the opportunity to renew her call for what she described as common sense policies like universal background checks.